greetings from Kes Vidro. We'll continue our series on projection of lines. This will be our final session. We look into the last, very last problem and projection of lines, which states as the top view of PQ, a straight line is 70 millimeters and makes an angle of 60 degrees with XY line. The end Q is 10 millimeters in front of VP and 30 millimeters above HP. The difference between the distances of P and Q above HP is 45 millimeters. Draw the projections and determine its true length and true inclinations with HP and VP. So, if you observe, like the previous problem, we do have the top view length of the straight line given, which is 70 mm. And Instead of the front view length, we have the location of Q. Q will be the starting point for us in this problem. And uh, unlike the previous problem where we used to take P or A as the starting, since Q's dimension with respect to HP and VP is given, like 10 millimeters in front of VP and 30 millimeters above HP, we'll start the line from Q and the length in the top view is known and also the angle in the top view is known. In order to construct the front view, we need the angle and the length but for that we have only the end point distance of P and Q 45 millimeters we know. So, what we do is we will construct the top view first properly and then from that we will proceed to obtain the front view. The very first thing to do is Draw the XY line. With your HP pencil. This is X. This is Y. VP. Vertical plane. Horizontal plane. Now, let us mark the point Q, which is 10 millimeters in front of VP and 30, film, uh, 30 millimeters above HP. So, 10 millimeters in front of VP will be in the HP plane. So, right here will be the point and 30 millimeters above HP. Starting from three centimeters, now let me join both the points with a two edge pencil, darken the points, the one in the front view is. Q dash and this is Q. Now, let us obtain the top view. So, top view we have all the data. For example, it has the length, it has the angle and it makes 60 degrees with x, y, he says. So, we will mark, we will draw the locus around these points first. Similarly, at Q dash, it should be parallel. Okay. This is slightly opposite. I will erase and draw the locus again. with a 2 edge pencil. 
Now measure 60 degrees. From Q, mark 60 degrees, draw a line on this 60 degree marking which is equal to 70 mm. The top view is 70 mm. Since this is the top view which is the projected line that we are drawing, I will use a 2B pencil directly, 70 mm. So this is P, this end point. Let me mark the angle. Sixty degrees. The angle. Let me mark the length of the line as well, which is equal to seventy. Again, use a two edge pencil. The dimensioning is with a 2B pencil 70. Okay, now the next thing it says is the end, the difference between the distances of P and Q above HP is 45 millimeters. So now from Q dash if I draw the distance. So from Q dash it's exactly at the top the location. So right here it is 45 mm distance. I'll draw locus. Okay, right at the top. So we'll dimension it. I'll use the dimension on here. I'll, I'll extend and dimension it. So this is forty-five. Dimension it again with your 2H pencil. Okay. This is 45 mm. Now we need to from P, we need to obtain P1. From P1, draw a vertical line to obtain P1 dash. So, once you get P1 dash, the true length Q dash P1 dash is obtained, and from that, we can proceed with the further solution. So, what we will do is now you know the locus. So, using your compass, Q as the center. P as the other end, draw an arc until you intersect the locus at A, so Q. So this point is P 1 dash, sorry P 1 and its vertical line to intersect the locus of P is P1 dash. So, this is 
पी वन डैश जॉइन क्यू डैश एंड पी वन डैश विच विल गिव यू दू लेंथ ऑफ दाइन पी क्यू एंड ट्रू लेंथ वी आर ऑप्टेन कैस एट पॉइंट टू Now, since we have obtained the true length, locus at P, the same true length will be drawn at the top view. So, top view we have P already obtained. So, once you have P, we will draw a locus at P. So, once we have drawn the locus at P, we know the true length. Which is eighty two. That is what I have obtained. Plus or minus two will always be there. So eight point two. Or the best way is instead of using your scale and measuring, use your compass. Take the measurement from the top view. The same measurement at Q. As the center, cut an arc intersecting your locus P, locus of P. This point is your P two. Join Q P two. This is eight point two. This is the true length. And we have to obtain the projected length from here. From P two, draw a line vertical line till it intersects the locus at Q dash. That will be your point P two dash. Now. Using your compass with Q dash as the center, P two dash, Q dash, P two dash as the radius. Cut an arc, or draw an arc until it cuts the locus at P one dash. This intersection or the point is the required point P dash. Join. P dash Q dash. This is P dash. Now, the true length and true angle measurements needs to be obtained. So, the true length is, as we said, I will say Q P two Q. P two is equals to eighty two mm, or if you take this Q dash, the one dash is eighty two mm. Next, the angle true inclinations we need to denote. So true inclinations are. In the front view, which is theta, it is thirty-two degrees. Theta is thirty-two degrees. Now this is this angle. Theta is thirty-two degrees, and So 
this is 49 degrees. 5 is 49 degrees. Theta is 32, 5 is 49 degrees. So, the only angle that remains to be denoted since 60 degree was the projected angle given which is nothing but your beta. This will be your alpha which is not asked in the question but it is 60 degrees. So, if you want to denote it, you can denote it. So, with this, the solution to the given problem is completed. The sessions on projection of lines are also completed. In the next session, we will take a projection of planes. Until then, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.